Hello everyone, here is another video with OrgTube channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss some synthesis strategies for alcohols. Let's start with this example. In this synthesis process, we wanted to convert a primary alcohol to a secondary alcohol. By comparing these two structures, we can clearly see that this carbon still has the hydroxy group in the product, but in addition of hydroxy group, we also have one benzene ring attached to that carbon. When we have addition of another group to the same carbon of hydroxy group, the strategy is involving two step reaction oxidation of alcohol to aldehyde or ketone and then reaction with Grignard reagent. So if I perform an oxidation reaction with PCC or with DMP, these two reagents, they can convert alcohol to an aldehyde. Then we get this aldehyde. After that, we need to add one benzene ring to this aldehyde we need to use Grignard reagent. If we use a Grignard reagent for benzene ring, then this negative carbon for Grignard attacks to the carbonyl group and push the pi bond to the oxygen. Then we get this intermediate And after acidifying this mixture, we get our product. So this is the first strategy in this video. By this strategy, we can convert primary alcohol to secondary alcohol. And also we can convert secondary alcohol to an tertiary alcohol. Let's have more example for this strategy. Here is another example. As you can see here, this carbon has one extra group in our product, a methyl group. So we have the same strategy. We need to oxidize our alcohol because it is a secondary alcohol. It really doesn't matter which reagent we use. We can use PCC, DMP, or other reagents like chromium oxide. By using one of these oxidizing agents, we convert our alcohol to a ketone then if we use methyl magnesium bromide, the Grignard reagent, then this CH3 negative attacks to the carbonyl group. And then we have this intermediate. And acidifying this intermediate produces the final product. Here is the next example. In this example, the primary alcohol converts to a tertiary alcohol. And we have two different groups they are adding to our original alcohol. So because we have two groups adding to our alcohol, we need to repeat that strategy two times. So first, we need to oxidize our primary alcohol to an aldehyde by using PCC or DMP, we convert benzyl alcohol to benzaldehyde. Then for the second step, we can use Grignard reagent. It really doesn't matter which one we use first. I'm starting with methyl. Then the CH3 negative attacks here. We get O negative CH3, then acidifying the mixture, we get a secondary alcohol. Now we add one of those groups to our alcohols, then we need to add the second group to our alcohol. So we have a secondary alcohol right now and we need to oxidize it. to the ketone 
Then we use another Grignard reagent. Then if I use the Grignard reagent for vinyl group, then this negative carbon attacks here and we get this intermediate and after acidifying this intermediate O negative converts to OH so we can write here then H3O positive we don't need to write them in two separate steps the Grignard and acidifying mixture this is how we can synthesize this alcohol starting from benzene alcohol here is the next example this synthesis is a little bit more challenging in this question we would like to synthesize this alcohol but we are only allowed to use these two starting material as an organic compound or as a source of carbon so if we use Grignard or other reagent they have carbon we need to actually make those reagents from this alcohol. By taking a look to this product, we can see that the propanols, this alcohol, is there. And this group attached to this alcohol. So we can easily say that we're supposed to have a green yard reagent for this green part and adding to that alcohol. So let's write the synthesis a strategy here if i have propanol and oxidize it by pcc to an aldehyde then by using this grignard reagent and then acidifying i can have this product but this Grignard reagent, it has carbon and the only source of carbon we can use is these two alcohols. So we cannot just write the answer like this. We need to synthesize that Grignard reagent as well from this alcohol. To synthesize the Grignard reagent, we need to convert alcohol to an alkyl halide, then use magnesium. So if I have this alcohol, I can convert it to the alkyl bromide by using HBr or we may use PBr3 for primary or secondary alcohol. Then alcohol converts to bromide and then if I use magnesium, then the Grignard reagent forms. So first we need to propose the synthesis of the Grignard, then we can add it to the aldehyde. This is how this type of question should be solved. Let's have one more example for this type of question. Here is another example. In this example, we would like to synthesize this tertiary alcohol from cyclohexanol, but we only want to use cyclohexanol as a source of carbon this cyclohexyl group attached to the same carbon and forms a tertiary alcohol so we can start to synthesize Grignard for this part so we have cyclohexanol we can use PBR3 convert it to the bromocyclohexane then we use magnesium to form Grignard reagent. We also can use cyclohexanol to synthesize our ketone. So by using a part of our cyclohexanol in oxidation reaction, we can synthesize cyclohexanol. A ketone so by reaction of compound a and compound b together we can synthesize our tertiary alcohol 
So by reaction of compound B with compound A, this negative carbon attacks here, form this intermediate, and then after acidifying the mixture, the O negative turns to OH. And we can synthesize this alcohol by using only cyclohexanol as a source of carbon. And here is the last example for the first part of this video. In this example, we convert our secondary alcohol to this compound. It is look like this tertiary alcohol. But instead of alcohol, we have an ether group. The strategy is still the same. And first, we need to oxidize the alcohol, convert it to the ketone. Then we have addition of ethyl group to this structure. So if I use ethyl magnesium bromide, this negative carbon attacks to the carbonyl. And then we have this intermediate. Now, instead of acidifying the mixture to convert O negative to OH, I can use CH3I and alkyl halide. And we know O negative, the anion for alcohol, alkoxide anion. They can react with alkyl halide, primary or CH3 to have an SN2 reaction for formation of Ether. In the second part of this video, I'm going to have the second strategy and some example. In this example, we cannot use the same strategy for the previous examples because the methyl group doesn't add to the carbon containing OH, but it's adding to the adjacent carbon. For this type of synthesis problem, our strategy is different and we need to use epoxidation reaction. The strategy is in this form. So we can use sulfuric acid and heat. Then we have dehydration reaction of alcohol. We can eliminate one water molecule from our original alcohol and we get an alkene. Then by using epoxidation reaction like using MCPBA, we can convert our alkenes to an epoxide. Then when we add Grignard reagent to an epoxide, then this CH3 negative attacks to one of these two carbon. It doesn't matter which one because they are identical. So when this CH3 negative attacks to this carbon, it pushes this bond to the oxygen. As a result, the O negative moving to the next carbon. And here we have CH3. And then by acidifying the mixture, O negative turns to an OH group. So this is how we can synthesize an alcohol when we add an alkyl group to the adjacent carbon of COH. Let's have more example. Here is another example. Again, in this strategy, we can see that one allyl group adds to the adjacent carbon of COH. So the strategy should be reaction of epoxide and Grignard. So we are going to have the second strategy by using sulfuric acid and heat. We have dehydration reaction. A dehydration reaction for this alcohol, we can have two possible products. In one of them, we have removing of water on these two carbon, and we get this alkene. 
We can also get another product by removing of hydrogen and OH from these carbons and get this alkene. The second alkene is the minor product because always dehydration of alcohol by sulfuric acid is producing ZSF product. We can convert it to the epoxy ring. So if we use MCPBA, the alkene converts to epoxy ring. And then we can add Grignard reagent to this epoxy ring. So if we have allyl magnesium bromide, this negative carbon, the CH2, attacks to this carbon. We know that Grignard attacks to the less substituted carbons for epoxy ring because it's an SN2-like reaction. So this carbon is secondary, this carbon is tertiary, for sure Grignard attacks to the secondary. By addition to the secondary, this bond breaks and oxygen moves to the tertiary carbon. So we get this intermediate and after acidifying this intermediate, we get our final product. Here is the last example. This example is combination of both strategies because we have one group on the same carbon for COH and we have also one group on the adjacent carbon. In this case, for this example, it really doesn't matter which one we put first, but sometimes it does. I would like to start to add ethyl group first. So I'm going to oxidize this alcohol convert it to the ketone then by adding ethyl magnesium bromide then acidifying the mixture we can synthesize this alcohol with an ethyl group then we can remove water by dehydration reaction using sulfuric acid and heat so by dehydration reaction, we can form this alkene. Then we have epoxidation reaction. So the alkene converts to epoxy ring. And on this carbon, we also have ethyl group. Then when we add phenyl magnesium bromide, this Grignard reagent, this negative carbon would like to attack to the less substituted carbon, which I marked them with the pink. Then it pushed the O negative to the tertiary carbon, the carbon attached to the ethyl group. As a result, on our cyclopentane ring, on one carbon, we have O negative and ethyl group and on the adjacent carbon we have the benzene ring and after acidifying this mixture the O negative converts to the OH. Thank you for watching this video. For watching more video please subscribe to our YouTube channel.